media practitioner. I work for ABS-CBN. I just let go of my regular field duty and uh, I'm doing mostly uh, work for the morning show and we have a regular program as well. And um, I'm also exploring like other uh, platforms where I can contribute. I was a host for a kiddie program called Five and Up when I was just 10 years old. And it was only because my parents, particularly my father, really encouraged me to join this club in, in Ateneo back then, which was the Children's Theater. So, dun ko natutunan yung kahalagahan ng uh, how to project yourself in front of an audience. And then eventually, you know, I moved to television as a, as a young host. Um, studied in Ennis Montessori. <laughs> uh, and then I moved on to Ateneo de Manila. I studied in Philippine Science High School and then UP Diliman. I took a, a course which was far removed from journalism, which is applied physics. And I was really fully intending to kind of continue my studies and become a researcher, become a professor maybe. It's a very useful education for a number of careers, if not all careers. Um, I think you'd be a great journalist if you develop the scientific method, the critical way of thinking, being uh, organized and, and methodical with your work, uh, being able to break down complex problems into simpler, more manageable parts. I've been asked this question a few times and um, there's no way I can answer it without mentioning uh, the coverage of this big typhoon in 2013, Typhoon Yolanda. It made an impact in, in my career. I learned a lot from it. Siguro ang una na masasabi ko, journalists have to know a little bit about a lot of different things. And if you can know a lot about a few things, then all the better. And then I guess another one would be, you have to be prepared for the new landscape of media, which includes uh, a changing relationship to your audience. If you think about it, anyone can be a journalist. Some people go through the rigors of, of being in an organization, of, of, you know, of, of doing it daily, and then nahasa ka. Pero dapat wala tayong assumption na mas may alam tayo kaysa sa audience natin. Because most of the time, um, they know a lot more than us.